Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the lecture on characteristics of turbulent flow. So, we will have a few more aspects about the turbulent flow and then how we start modeling uh, you know uh, what are the approaches towards uh, modeling some of the parameters in turbulent flow. So, that we will study in this uh, lecture. So, uh, we will talk about uh, initially some of the examples of the uh, turbulent flows and uh, uh, especially with the constant imposed pressure, there will be some kind of flow which is uh, coming under the uh, these examples like you have free turbulent flow. So, you will have the example of mixing layer or jet or wake. So, these are the examples of free turbulent flows. Whereas, uh, if you talk about the boundary layers near the solid walls, so, in that you may have the uh, flat plate boundary layer or the pipe flow. So, they are basically coming under the boundary layer near the solid walls. So, if you uh, see the, the free turbulent flow, so uh, in that case uh, you will have uh, three kind of uh, you know uh, flows. So, if you talk about the mixing layer, so the uh, in the mixing layer basically a mixing layer will be forming the interface of two regions one with fast and one with the slow moving fluid. So, that is how the, the mixing layer is defined. So, you will have uh, uh, the interaction between the fast and the slow moving fluid. Similarly, when you talk about a jet region, so there you have a high speed flow. So, you are uh, 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 leaving a jet. So, that is that has high speed flow and then when it goes, so it will be surrounded by the stationary fluid. So, then uh, how you know uh, the how it behaves, how the uh, you know there is interaction from the surrounding stationary fluid uh, of the high speed flow. So, that is also an example of the free turbulent flow. Then uh, also there is a wake uh, kind of uh, uh, situation where it is formed behind an object in a flow. So, here we will have a slow region moving region and that will be surrounded by the fast moving fluid. So, the fast moving fluid is there and there is a uh, behind the object uh, you will have uh, that interaction is there in the case of uh, the uh, wake. So, these are the examples of the uh, you know some of the examples and we will talk about few of them and, and then we will uh, uh, talk about how the velocity profile or how you know uh, you are going to have the calculation of uh, the stresses and all that. So, that uh, uh, we will be discussing. So, uh, you know so initially so in these cases velocity changes which uh, you know take place in the initial thin layer. So, that uh, becomes very important in all these three um, uh, flows and uh, then uh, you will have the transition to turbulence will be occurring after very short distance in the flow direction from the point where the different streams uh, basically will be initially meeting and turbulence will be causing the vigorous mixing of adjacent fluid layers and rapid widening of the region across which velocity changes take place. So, that can be understood by uh, you know uh, the example of these three kind of uh, flows. So, that is uh, normally for the case of uh, jet flow where you see that uh, you have a uh, very high speed uh, you know jet which is coming and it is it has the interaction with this, the stationary fluid. So, you will have a stationary on the sides and that is how the velocity profile uh, uh, come out to be. Now, in the case of mixing layer you will have uh, a smaller moving uh, you so uh, slow moving uh, region and that will be interacting with the uh, fast moving one. So, that way you have mixing layer and development of these velocity profile you see. Similarly, this is the, the wake. So, you will have a wake and in that uh, when it uh, 
it will be velocity. So, that way what you see that this is how the, uh, the change in the velocity profile uh, looks like. So, these are the uh, examples of the uh, free turbulent flows. Now, uh, when we uh, talk about uh, the uh, experimental observations uh, of uh, the turbulent flows, then uh, what has uh, happened that uh, uh, you know uh, these uh, for the uh, uh, for mixing layers. So, you will have uh, uh, these are the you know uh, uh, equations which describe the uh, mixing layers like you have u minus u min upon u mix max minus u min that will be function of uh, uh, y by b. So, basically uh, the u max and u min they will be representing the uh, the maximum and minimum velocities. So, that will be at a distance y. So, that will be uh, you know uh, or at a distance x downstream. So, so accordingly uh, your uh, you will have uh, the u by u max. So, uh, you know so that uh, you can see uh, u by u max for the jets it will be a function of uh, y by b. Uh, similarly, uh, you will have uh, so, this uh, y is the distance in the uh, cross stream direction and x is uh, the distance in the, uh, in the stream in that stream direction. So, uh, you will have uh, the u by u max it will be function of y by b. Similarly, in this case u minus u min by u max minus u min that will be uh, for the as we a function of y by b. So, that will be y in the cross stream and then uh, uh, you will have uh, uh, similarly, you will have uh, uh, for the uh, and b is basically the uh, cross stream uh, layer width. So, that is half width. So, that is how uh, b you are taking and uh, for the wakes what you see that this you see uh, u max minus u by u max minus u min. So, that will be a function of uh, y by b. So, that is what is uh, uh, these uh, formulas are there you know. Uh, uh, which uh, talk about uh, these uh, variations in the uh, u uh, with u max u min and it will be a function of how it is uh, for the uh, y by b. Now, if uh, uh, you go for uh, the uh, boundary layer near the uh, solid walls. So, if suppose uh, we are taking uh, uh, the case of uh, boundary layer the near the uh, solid walls. So, uh, you know uh, in the uh, turbulent thin uh, shear layer flows, this Reynolds number uh, based on length scale L and in flow uh, direction that is uh, R E L is uh, always very, very large. So, if you are taking that uh, you know length scale L and if you are uh, measuring that turbulence uh, uh, value, this uh, Reynolds number value uh, that will be always uh, very large and if that uh, you know uh, implies or that means that uh, the uh, flow is very much uh, inertia dominated. So, uh, that is what uh, it, it, it means that uh, the flow is when the Reynolds number is very large and we know that Reynolds number will be uh, you know uh, more than uh, I mean this is a ratio of the inertia to the uh, viscous forces. So, uh, basically uh, you will have a, a very large value of Reynolds number means that uh, uh, your uh, uh, Reynolds number is I mean the inertia uh, force is uh, dominating over the uh, viscous force. Now, if you uh, talk about uh, the, uh, the uh, inertia forces, so, the, so that will be happening when your uh, uh, the flow is far away from the wall. So, there uh, you will have uh, uh, this uh, thing taking place. Uh, in flows along the solid boundaries, there is usually a substantial region of inertia dominated flow far away from the wall and a thin layer within which the uh, viscous forces are important. So, you have basically a very thin layer where the viscous forces are important and once you go to the uh, you know uh, region which is far away from the wall, there the inertia force uh, uh, I mean uh, tries to be uh, more important or more dominant than the uh, viscous force. Now, uh, if you talk about the uh, close to the wall, the uh, flow will be influenced by the viscous effects and does not depend on the uh, 
free stream parameters and uh, the mean flow velocity will be only depending on the distance y uh, from the wall, uh, fluid density rho uh, and viscosity mu and the wall shear stress uh, tau w. So, this point uh, uh, I mean uh, this that can be uh, represented uh, by like uh, if you if you are talking about this case like where the uh, at the distance y you will have uh, this close to the wall it will be depending upon. So, in that case your uh, u will be a function of the distance from the you know, wall then your density uh, viscosity and the um, tau w. Now, uh, this uh, uh, tau w is the uh, wall shear stress in this case. So, this is basically uh, for the close to the uh, wall and when you do the dimensional analysis uh, in, in, in this case, then we, what you see is that the dimensional analysis will show that you get u plus that will be equal to u by u tau. So, u tau is the known as the uh, friction velocity. So, uh, and uh, uh, that will be basically square root of tau w by rho. Now, that will be basically uh, a function of you know uh, rho u tau y upon mu. So, this way uh, you know uh, you get another uh, you know number I mean another uh, uh, parameter. So, that is um, uh, rho u tau y by mu and uh, that is also known as f of y plus. So, this y plus uh, no this is uh, simply uh, y plus. So, this y plus uh, uh, will, will have certain values and certainly uh, on the wall y is 0. So, it will be 0 and as you move from the wall y plus value will go on um, increasing. So, this uh, formula u plus will be f um, you know f of y plus that is u by u tau. So, this uh, equation is known as the law of the wall. So, you will have uh, you know uh, uh, two important uh, dimensionless groups uh, one is u plus another is y plus. So, uh, so that way and, and this uh, u plus is basically defined as uh, uh, you know u tau that is uh, u tau is defined as tau w by rho raised to the power half. So, this is uh, basically the friction velocity tau w uh, you know u tau is uh, known as and tau w is the wall shear stress and rho is the uh, you know density. So, uh, uh, so that is how you will have the two dimensional groups. Uh, you are getting you know in this case. Now, uh, when you go away from the wall now in that case uh, you know the uh, so if you go away from the uh, wall the uh, velocity at a point uh, you know the can be considered to be influenced by the retarding effect of the wall you know uh, through the value of the wall shear stress but not by uh, viscosity itself. So, as uh, you know uh, we uh, move so uh, far away from the wall. So, there uh, basically you will have uh, uh, the influence of uh, uh, the uh, wall shear stress not because of the viscosity uh, itself. So, uh, the length scale in this region will be the uh, boundary layer thickness that is uh, uh, delta. So, in that case when you uh, move uh, far away from the wall. Now, in that case uh, your u becomes another function g of uh, the y delta rho and tau w. So, you will have the y cross stream uh, uh, length you will have the uh, uh, boundary layer thickness you will have the uh, density and also the uh, wall shear stress uh, that is what is uh, normally there when you are uh, moving uh, you know uh, away from uh, the uh, wall. Uh, so, in this case uh, if you do the dimensional analysis you get again u plus that will be again u by u tau that is your friction velocity and that becomes uh, you know g of y by delta. So, uh, this uh, you know this is the uh, most useful form which you get 
and uh, uh, you know the the wall shear stress basically uh, he, uh, what we seen has the uh, cause for the uh, velocity deficit uh, that is u uh, max minus u and it will be uh, decreasing. So, as you go towards the uh, uh, boundary layer edge, so uh, at the pipe center line. So, uh, what we see in this case uh, u max minus u. So, that will be uh, and divided by u tau. So, that becomes uh, the uh, function of g of y by delta. So, that is what we had seen earlier also in the in those cases that uh, you get uh, such kind of uh, uh, relationship there. So, this uh, what you get uh, this is basically known as the uh, velocity defect law. So, we are getting the velocity deficit in, uh, in that case and that is why we call it as the uh, velocity defect law. Now, uh, we move to the linear or viscous sub layer. Now, uh, that uh, uh, has to be uh, for the uh, you know uh, linear or viscous sub layer. So, uh, if you go to the linear or viscous sub layer. So, in that basically the, the, the fluid layer is in contact with a smooth wall. So, if you talk about that linear or viscous sub layer where the fluid layer is in contact with the smooth wall. It means the, the since the wall is stationary, so the uh, the fluid which is there that is also stationary. Now uh, the turbulent adding uh, you know motions which are there, so close to that will also be stopping, and uh, you will have uh, you know. So you will have the domination by the viscous effects there in in in, in, in that uh, condition. Now, uh, the viscous sub layer which is uh, there, so that basically is uh, you know uh, uh, very very thin. So, this viscous sub layer, so being very thin, it is basically uh, confined to y plus value less than uh, 5. And uh, it can be assumed there that the, the shear stress, so uh, you know shear stress will be uh, constant approximately. So, shear stress is assumed to be constant and equal to the wall shear stress tau w throughout the layer. So, in that layer as the layer is very very thin you can assume that the shear stress will be tau w that is constant throughout that uh, layer. So, so, tau y will be mu of uh, dou u by dou y and that will be tau w. So, that is what there in the case of uh, you know a linear or viscous sub layer. Now, if you do the integration of this uh, and if you apply the proper boundary condition, the boundary condition will be that uh, if uh, you know at y equal to 0 u is 0. So, uh, in this case uh, what we see we get a linear relationship and uh, after integrating what we get is u equal to uh, tau w into y upon mu. So, that is what you get from here uh, once you get the integration uh, constant then that uh, you know uh, uh, so, put in the boundary condition you get uh, this value the u equal to tau w y by uh, you know uh, mu. So, uh, you can have the uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, further you can uh, you know you, what you see earlier you have got the u by u tau is u plus and uh, y plus also uh, you know you see that is rho u tau y by mu. So, you can write here from u by u y u by uh, u, uh, u tau and all that. So, you can write here. So, with some algebra you can uh, further define u plus and y plus and you get the u plus as equal to y plus. 
So, uh, you know this uh, uh, you have the linear relationship uh, you know here uh, between the u plus and the y plus. So, that is between the velocity and the distance from the wall and uh, uh, that is uh, you know in the fluid layer which is adjacent to the wall. So, you, this is a linear sub layer that is why it is known as the linear uh, sub layer because you have the linear relationship between uh, u plus and uh, uh, y plus and that is why it is known as linear sub layer. Now, if you go to the uh, outside this uh, viscous sub layer, so you have a uh, log law layer. So, that is basically the uh, turbulent uh, region close to smooth wall. Now, if you go to uh, you know uh, this region where uh, you know in this region will be basically uh, uh, by a region where the y plus value will be more than 30 and less than 500. So, here this is outside the viscous sub layer. So, uh, in that uh, region your uh, y plus will be uh, more than 30 and uh, it will be less than 500. So, here uh, these uh, both these viscous stresses as well as the you know uh, turbulent effects both are important uh, in this region that is uh, uh, when uh, you are going the, for the y plus value more than uh, 30. Now, in this case the shear stress tau slowly will be uh, you know uh, varying with the distance from the wall and uh, uh, within the inner region it will be assumed that uh, so what you see this uh, y plus in, for this value y plus between 30 and 500 so you are assuming you know this uh, uh, shear stress to be constant and equal to the uh, wall shear stress in that uh, thin region and uh, in that uh, basically uh, what you see uh, you get this uh, u plus value you will be getting the 1 by uh, k of uh, ln y plus plus b. So, this is uh, uh, what you see uh, what you get uh, you know in the case of uh, the uh, that region which is outside the uh, viscous sub layer. So, here the shear stress tau will be varying slowly with distance from the wall and uh, in the uh, inner region it will be assumed to be uh, constant and that will be equal to the uh, wall shear stress and uh, regarding the uh, length of the turbulence mixing you know mixing length uh, here this uh, L m that is uh, taken as the uh, K y. So, uh, see this uh, you know u plus. So, you will have the uh, uh, relationship between u plus and v plus in terms of this uh, uh, K that is uh, you know uh, so, this uh, will be 1 by k ln y plus plus b and we also take it as 1 by k of uh, kappa that is uh, e y plus we are taking another you know uh, constant. So, we call it as the 1 by k of ln e y plus. So, basically because this is a logarithmic function in that u plus and y plus is varying in a logarithmic uh, manner that is why we call it as a log law layer. And uh, in this case, uh, what has been found, people have done the experiments, and the, the numerical value of this kappa, that value is uh, taken to be uh, about 0.4, and b is taken out to be 5.5, uh, uh, or even uh, e is taken as uh, 9.8. So, basically, the this is known as the von Karman constant, and this von Karman constant is uh, uh, basically uh, you know 0.54 and your uh, this uh, constant b it is 5.5 or uh, you can have e value as 9.8 for smooth walls. And uh, once uh, you have the uh, rough walls, so you will have the uh, decrease in the value of b. So, your u plus will decrease for the uh, rough walls. So, your b will uh, be decreasing and uh, because of these uh, you know uh, relationship we call it as uh, the uh, log law 
uh, in, in this case. So, that is why it is known as the log law layer because of this logarithmic you know function which is uh, uh, seen here. Now, uh, we will come to another layer uh, that will be uh, your uh, outer layer. So, if you go to the uh, outer layer, so uh, you know uh, the uh, the log law layer that is uh, shown to be valid experimentally in the region. So, log law will be valid in region. So, y by delta, so it, that value has to be more than uh, 0 0.02 and less than 0 0.2. Now, the uh, for the larger value of the y, the uh, uh, the velocity defect law which we have uh, got that gives you the uh, correct uh, you know form. And uh, in the overlap region basically you have uh, the uh, log law and the uh, velocity defect law that has to be equal. So, based on that you can have the uh, you know uh, the uh, relationship and uh, uh, the researcher uh, you know uh, uh, Ternakes and Lumley. So, they have uh, shown that uh, there will be a matched overlap in that uh, you know. So, you will have uh, that function. So, by overlapping if you make it equal. So, you will have u max minus u by uh, u tau. So, that will be uh, basically equated to this uh, you know log. So, that will be 1 by Vorman Carmen constant kappa. Then you will have um, ln of y by delta and plus a. So, so that is uh, basically uh, you know uh, applicable for the outer layer and uh, uh, here the a is constant. Now, the thing is that uh, you know this law this is uh, the uh, uh, velocity defect law only and this law is uh, many a times you know, also called as the law of the weak. So, uh, there has been uh, close uh, you know uh, findings by the researchers especially the Schlisting uh, was one of the researcher who has done a uh, large amount of work in the area of he has a standard book also on the uh, boundary layer theory by Schlisting. So, that we refer also. So, in that uh, so they have found that uh, you have basically the uh, if you go uh, try to have the velocity uh, profile. So, what you see that uh, if you try to have the this velocity profile I am sure we have u plus and you have log of y plus. So, uh, what you see you will have. So, this is your uh, linear profile and uh, your uh, in the, your profile looks should go is going like this. So, in this case you have u plus is y plus. So, that is uh, uh, that is this uh, this reason and then otherwise you have here this reason is u plus is 1 by come of kappa of e y plus. So, this is your uh, you know log law layer where this logarithmic uh, you know uh, relationship holds good and this, so these are different points which are you know coming and it has been found to be you know uh, here correct. Uh, so, you have uh, this reason as the uh, you know log law layer. So, where this log uh, uh, rule holds good in this uh, case. So, what we see uh, that the turbulent boundary layer adjacent to the uh, solid surface is composed of two regions. You have the inner region which is 10 to 20 percent of total thickness of the wall layer and uh, the shear stress will be almost constant equal to wall shear stress that is what we have uh, seen outer region will be uh, where it is the law of the wake layer. So, there you will have the inertia dominated core flow from the wall and it will be free from the direct viscous effects. So, when you go from the wall away you will have inertia effects uh, getting more and more uh, dominated. Then uh, if you go to boundary layer near the solid walls the inner layer will have three zones. So, you will have linear sub layer where the viscous stresses will be dominating the flow adjacent to the surface because there because of the uh, wall also the uh, flow becomes 0. So, there the viscous stress is dominating. You have a buffer layer where viscous and turbulent stresses are of similar magnitude and then you have a log law layer where the uh, turbulent stresses dominate. 
So, uh, so these are you know, so that basically now why we have studied this because they will be used when we uh, go and uh, solve the Tandis flow, when we talk about the uh, uh, flow near the walls. So, how you have to model how these uh, uh, you know uh, quantities are to be computed, how the uh, depending upon the y plus value, how you have to take the different uh, wall functions. So, these things are uh, basically uh, you know very important to be understood that uh, you know in which region, which uh, which way these u plus and y plus is varying and what are the functions and accordingly you can have the calculation of the wall shear stress and then other related components that can be you know calculated in the case of any such kind of turbulent flows uh, which will be normally for the you know flat plate near a, representing the flat plate boundary layer or even other kind of uh, you know flows. Uh, in, in the industrial uh, you know applications thank you very much